Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. My name's Randy. This is Go Midwest Fishing, and this here is Reed. This is an auto light pole. Hey, this like me, and we're gonna break raw. All right, everyone, in this video, we're gonna be breaking some ultralight poles. This is the third video in a series of breaking poles. The first one, we did some heavy action poles. Uh, break! Uh, it's gonna break! Oh! No, it's oh. Ah. oh! Come on! Oh, that one broke the easy. The second one was medium. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. Look at that bend. Oh, yeah, look at it. Oh! Ah! Broke it! And our third one here is going to be ultralight. Yep. And then right after this, we're going to be doing some fly rods. So we're yep. going to start off with this one. It's a, looks like it says Peregrine on it. Uh, made in China. It's a five foot four. No, it's a four foot six ultralight. And um, this was actually one of my good ones I've used. All these ultralights are actually pretty good poles. They're ones that I've been using, and I, for some reason I have a whole bunch of them. I don't know why, but I don't need that many, so let's break a few of them. Um, get a little close up here, nice cork handle. It's pretty thin and very ultra light. And for this one, I'm just gonna leave the line that was on. It had a braided line. It's probably like an eight pound line. I'm hoping it'll break before uh, I won't break the line, but let's go hook it up. The <laughs> second one came out today. Yes. All right, just like the other videos, we're doing is we run the line down to a pulley and then coming back up to this uh, crane scale. So I'm we, gonna do it So when first. we pull up, kind of like we're catching a fish, it should pull down in here and register how much weight it, uh, it's pulling. Uh, the heavy weight so far, the max we got was 70 pounds, most around 30 pounds when they broke. And ultralights, I'm not expecting a whole lot of weight. So since Reed's the ultralight, he's gonna try breaking the first one. All right, see what you got. Look at that, going on about two pounds. Pull until she breaks. If there's anyone that's gonna break, it's gonna be this one. Oh, that I all you got? I heard a crack in a little. Okay. You need a little help or you think you can do it? Let's not do it together. No? These things are way different. I could feel it kind of flexing right here at the, where the real seat is. And that's where a lot of them have been breaking right. before. All right, gotta get my safety gear on because uh, some of these poles shatter pretty good. Yeah. And what we've noticed is the ones, the lightweight graphite type ones, they just break into a lot of pieces. And they're bamboo. The bamboos too. And the fiberglass ones, they're really hard to break. Yep. Three, four pounds. Oh, she's cracking. No! Oh, did it. we break the line? Yeah, I knew it. All right, I'm gonna have to string a little bit heavier line on. I'll be right back. All right, we got some 80 pound line hooked up to it now. This will break in no time. Here we go, you ready for this? Yeah. What do we got? Six, seven, about seven this, pounds? This is surprising Ripping us. the drag. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. We got the drag drags coming out. I'm just wrapped around the handle here to help it from this stripping out. This is really out. surprising us. But look, you can see how it's, it's really bending right here at the handle. It's a very uh, slow action. So uh, you know, the whole rod kind of bends around. Oh, it's cracking, it's cracking good. It's gonna go any second. Oh, look at that, I'm impressed. I thought that would snap right off. Huh. Yeah, really. I didn't see how much we were pull pulling there. But you guys will. Make sure it's on that pulley there. Okay, here it goes, nothing. Let's get her broke. It's really surprising of, us. Yeah, let me wrap it around the handle, maybe that'll. Make it pull more straight on. And maybe you go. should pull. Get a little truer pull there. Uh, yeah, it really wants to bend right at the base. I think it's going to break. Come on. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's, it's pulling out of the cork. What? Look at that. <laughs> the world. What in the world? <laughs> I this thought this would be the easiest pull to break. It's the, like this littlest. Come on. This break now. <gasps> stripping out line. Yeah, stripping out line. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to wrap it even better. Right there at the cork, it's starting to pop out. We're gonna break it. I'm just gonna have to hold on the bottom of the handle yeah. here so it'll actually snap, I think. 
<laughs> I think we're breaking it oh. right there. Here, I thought this was going to be the easiest video of these little poles. Look and at this. It, apparently, it's probably going to be the... <gasps> oh, we did it. Look at that. Snapped off right at the handle. Oh, oh this has got some fiberglass in it, see? Yeah. That's why it didn't break. No wonder no it wonder. didn't break. No wonder it did wonder. break. It had fiber glass. Yeah, so as we we're saying, the fiber glass ones are hard to break. And this one finally broke right at the handle. You see that? You can see the little fiber sticking out. So now we just got this. Maybe we'll see if this will snap off. Yeah. Should we try it? Like this. Ready? Yeah! It bends it right around in a circle. Yeah, this is a pretty good pull, actually. I was expecting this to snap right off. It, Right in the circle. Now you can see it's kind of a light color right there. Maybe you can see it better like that. Oh, there we go. This broke. Snap that. Yeah, look, you can see all the, see it's got all the fibers. Yeah, that's why it, that's I guess why it was it's hard to break. have fiberglass in it. Yeah, look at that. We thought that was going to be the easiest, but it was really hard. There you go, now you can see it well. Daddy, maybe we should go like. Go, go like this. Yeah! Ah. I'm impressed like with this little pole. Here, you want? Hey, would you like a new fishing pole? It's brand new. I heard they used. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. What's next on the uh, boards here? You wanted to do. This is the one you want to do next. You have fun with it. This is actually a good reel. So, all these have pretty still have reels on them, and most of the reels are good. So. We'll keep the reels, we'll just throw away the poles. We'll give this to Slayer Mike. He says, give me all your reels. And I'm like, you can have these ones, I don't use them. Here you go, Slayer Mike, it's all yours. Up next, we got a Shakespeare. Uh, this is a, uh, is this a Bass Pro Shops? No, Where'd I get this? this might be the little Okay, well it's got Cab pull. Cabell's reel on, I'm not sure if it's the original one or not. That pole took it so long to break, this might be the longest video yet. You never know. Yeah. Anyway, this one's a five foot ultralight action, made in China, two to six pound line. It's a little bit stiffer than the other one. Waist. Yep. This one, this one's got the, it doesn't have the cork handle, it's got the, whatever this is. Foamy. Kind of fabric. All right, let's hook her up. Hook her up, hook, hook her, her up, up. hook, hook her, her up. up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Reed's going for it. So, uh, how are you doing? How I stick it usually does it. <laughs> usually does it. <laughs> you got. Three pounds. Was... Here, stay backwards a little bit like here so we don't cross over. <laughs> there you go. Give her all you got. Four pounds. Not bad. <laughs> so while he's doing that, out, another quick shout out to Dave over at Hunting Farmer who said, he pointed out that the fact that I'm going down through a pulley might affect the, the weight on the scale. And since he's a lot smarter than I am, I'm gonna say that might be true. So if, uh, if you're a smart guy, got some engineering skills, is that, gonna, is that gonna affect the weight at all by just going down through a pulley and then up to the scale uh, as compared to you know, directly hooked to the scale? Because sometimes it seems like I'm pulling awful hard in this thing and you know, not getting a whole lot of pounds on it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh. <sighs> this is a hard pull to break. Oh, I think it might have some, a ton of fiber glass you think? in Let's it. see how it bends. Usually the, you can tell because the fiberglass ones are more of a slow action, it kind of, the whole pole bends and it's kind of doing that, see? Mm -hmm. I think there's fiberglass. All right, what do we got? Ready? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17. Oh, right there. Right at 16. Oh, that's a cool break. 16, 16. Yeah. I haven't had one do this yet. Yeah. Look at that, it literally. Like broke right made like, like a, It made a kind of broke right here, it here, and here. It kind of looks a little like an octagon. It does. That was interesting. That this one, is a two-piece pole too, so can, it didn't. Can you believe it? Broke right at for those, six pounds. <laughs> but if you're wondering if, you know, being a two-piece pole makes it weaker, I haven't had one break at the, uh, where they joined together yet, so 
Um, I mean, yeah. let's see if I just do this. So, yeah, see, anywhere but where the joint. Oh, there, it finally broke. <laughs> right where it joins together. But um, so this one must be made. Yeah, it's more of a, a graphite type one. They snap off real easy. They just see how they. Just it broke at right at sixteen. Where that last one just like crack, 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 and you kind of see all the fibers coming up. Well, that's what we ended up with this pole. Yeah. Hey, hey, you want a brand new pole? I got another one for you. <laughs> that's it's a beauty. That. Here you go, Slayer Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the fun one next. See this thing? This is a, almost a new pole I bought from uh, Cabela's. It says Bass Pro Shops on it. It says Borealis. Um, this is a 10 foot, six inch pole. I bought brand new to go steelhead fishing with uh, Justin, my first time ever. He said I needed a long pole. Here's a quick clip from that trip. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So anyway, this is an ultralight pole. I've used it twice. Look at this thing. Woo! Tips at the camera, I'm <laughs> at the butt of it. <laughs> this thing is huge. So I don't know, maybe it'll get on camera. So I'm there you way go. over here. <laughs> can you see him? We got him on that camera at least. Okay, bring her up in the air. He can get a big, look at that curve on this thing. You might have to have one hand up here to get a hold of it. How about maybe you should do it do up there that. and I'll do it Oh, down. look at the bend on this one. It's like a rainbow. Kind of, a ton. Uh, now you're trying to... Tootsie, tootsie, tootsie. Here we go. <laughs> up, up. Oh, uh, um, uh, uh, boy. This one, <laughs> we have to, I don't know, reel it right down there to get more bend out of it. Come on. Oh, drag's going. We're gonna have to do the same deal where I wrap it around the butt of the pole, I think. And one thing. Oh, snap! Yeah. One thing. Oh! One thing. Oh! One thing. Oh! Oh, and three Look at pieces! That. that tells me it's probably a graphite pole. But once, yeah. actually, I got so big of a fish on my little pole, <laughs> it took right off my line. It'll help. Oh, jeez! Holy crap! I lost He just broke it off. I probably caught the biggest record for the bass in Minnesota. And it only went like... Look at that. See? Same thing. This is uh, the top half where it joins together. I think. <laughs> anyway, it broke. It didn't break where they joined together. It broke up above it. And uh, like I said, the graph right here, look at it, it just snapped. Look at that. Our the line guy like bent the right over. That easiest one to break. So, ended up with three pieces with this one. You got a new sword. You did it! Whoa, jeez! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> just went flying across the shop. Yeah, that. that. <laughs> Look at it, it broke in three pieces. <laughs> Another three pieces. Woo! Here's what you get you buy a light sensitive pole. Woo! It's like a gunshot going off. It's like a gunshot <laughs> in the shop. Hi Why did you do that to the Because it was fun. This is another Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Hold on, let me get my glasses on. I can't read anymore. What happens when you get old? You can't see. All right. <laughs> this is a micro, micro spin Shakespeare. Four foot six, ultralight, made in China. A lot oh. of his pull that he's doing is made in China. Yeah, I noticed that. Let me just bust that. Oh, this one's that. really slow action. This one might have some fiberglass in it. I don't know. We'll Daddy, see. let me try. I heard it. I heard it crack a little too. <laughs> this one doesn't have the. Has I'll the try breaking it in. first because mine. Still has the plastic on it too. I'll try breaking it because it won't even. Yeah, you can, you can try it first. Probably the first pull that all breaks. 
This might be the Might be. Well, I don't know. We keep we keep thinking they're going to be easy, and next thing you know, we're breaking the line off and everything else. And yeah, it's really bad. Nice, Zach. That's why you might. That's why your mic's real. real. Right? <laughs> yeah, he can have that one. Yeah. I mean, it, it works. I just haven't used it lately, so it's got a little dirt on it. Oh, oh. oh, what do you got? You got, got two pounds. You can do more than that. Yep. Back up a little bit, though. Come on. Give her all you got. Oh. <laughs> What's this? Try. Oh, come on. You can do it. You can do it. <sighs> Whew. Give all right, give up yet? Yep, I think I'm going to give up. Whoa. All right, see if I can do it one-handed. I'm going to stand behind oh, here yeah. because it's in my cute out. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Does the line just come out a little? Is that all? <laughs> and I just ripped the reel. I think it might have broke a little, but we can see know. it. And I think it broke in the inside. Wrap it around the handle. Guys, I think we just broke the pole <laughs> in the inside. From the inside? There he goes. Imagine that, it broke right at the uh, the reel again. Daddy, break it again. Break it again, okay. This part. Um, said, if you've watched the other videos, you notice they like breaking right at the handle. It's their favorite spot. See where it breaks if I grab each end. Where's it gonna break first? Well, now, there's your answer. Two at once. <laughs> <sighs> How did this one break? has a little more shards than the other one, though. Could be a little bit of a composite. Sometimes they mix materials. But like I said, I'm not an expert on what poles are made out of. I know they're made out of a few different things, so. Hey, here you go, Slayer Mike. <laughs> Don't right, put it with the rest. We've got three of them there. Last pole. Last pole. But not least. These were all spinning rods. So this, I just put my bait caster on to use it for the line. If you saw the uh, the first video, the heavy action pole, the reel seat broke in and my reel went flying and I broke my nice Abu Garcia reel. Kind of sad about it. It's gonna break! Oh! We broke it! Woo! We did, we jammed something up in there. Shimano, five foot six, ultralight, fast action. So that means the tip should bend more. Shouldn't be such of a rainbow. Um, and I noticed the fast actions are generally made out of graphite or a carbon type. So they're made uh, more lightweight and a little stiffer. But with the stiffness comes the brittleness and they just snap right off. What are you doing back there? All right, here goes the last of the ultralights. Da -da -da. Supposed to be fast action. Let's take a look. And it's still bending in the middle quite a bit. I hear a crack in the See, It bends at the tip first. You go like this, it bends at the tip, and then you get so much into it, and then it starts just bending the rest of the pole. And my reel won't go flying off. Come on. They're, they're harder to break than you would think. Yeah. So if it's, if, you buy a light, it's probably <coughs> not. Oh. Okay. Oh. Come on. Oh, break it, break it. Break yeah, they, they bend at the tip until you start pulling really hard. Then the rest of the pole starts to bend. And then that's where they break off right at the reel. <sighs> oh. Come on. Oh, you got it. Kidding me. Huh? My ultralight, we just broke the, uh, the line. 80 pound line, the ultralight broke before the ultralight huh. pole did. Here goes nothing. One, two, three. Just bring it, bring it, come on. Oh. <laughs> 
I think we'll double it up. Okay, I just doubled it around the hook a few times. See if that's where it was breaking. I'll give her another shot. There we go. That was quick. <laughs> One, what? two, three, four, five, I think six pieces. There. There we go. There we go. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, yep, six. Six pieces. Six pole. pieces. Did we get the reel? Oh, so he's, he's not getting this reel. This is my good reel. Yeah. Well, it's not anymore, but we are uh, saving this one for testing purposes. All right, here's what we got. One right at the uh, base. There. All right. <laughs> yeah. And I. No. Yeah, a little piece there. And then <laughs> the tip. So one, two, three, four, four, about five pieces or so. Well, I hope you had some fun watching us break poles. I know we enjoyed doing it. And this is, like I said, the third video in a series. So if you want to see the other two, I'll be creating a playlist. It'll be uh, like right up here. And you'll see all, as I make these videos, I'll be putting them in the playlist. So if you want to see the other ones, check that one out. And Reed here also has a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Reed the Naturalist. What's it all about? It's all about nature and science. All right, which video should they watch? You're going to watch Kick Sleddy. <laughs> Check that one out. I'll put it right up here and yeah. you can see that one. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again.